Little towns in Indiana, Ohio, Tennessee, and Oklahoma are the latest victims of a seemingly never-ending severe weather smackdown. The Storm Prediction Center says there were more than 900 preliminary reports of severe weather just on Wednesday. And unfortunately, there's the threat of even more life-threatening storms today in a big chunk of the east. And we are glad you're staying with us today here on Day Planner. This is an extended version as we continue to monitor the threat for severe weather today. Our two day total of storm reports, as you heard, is just unbelievable. As we look at some of the numbers here, first of all, where you see the white, large white dots going across the screen, those are reports of hail. The red, tornadoes. And as you look at the blue, those are wind reports. And this is going back just over the past 48 hours, a very busy 48 hours. So the severe weather threat finally over mm -hmm. in Joplin, Missouri, at least. That's great news as the recovery efforts there just mm -hmm. keep on kicking into high gear in the wake of Sunday's killer EF5 tornado. Some of the stories that we're hearing out of places like Joplin, they really are heartbreaking. They really are. A lot of people still searching for their family members. Uh, we heard last hour that 232 people are still unaccounted for here in Joplin. Look at the widespread area of severe weather. All the way down from Texas and Louisiana, up through Arkansas and into western portions of Tennessee and northern Mississippi. These are tornado watches. And some of these are particularly dangerous situation watches. The one here for southeastern Missouri into western Kentucky, on up into southern Illinois. A particularly dangerous situation means just that. Dangerous, life-threatening storms that could affect these areas as we head through the next several hours. Severe weather from Ohio all the way down to Texas. Missouri, you're right in the middle of the severe weather. Take a look now. These are our twit picks. We told you earlier that we had had reports of baseball-sized hailstones now in the St. Louis area. Here are the pictures to prove it. Of course, this was sent in on our Twitter page, and we'd love for you to send us pictures like this or any type of weather that you have in your area so that we could share with all of the viewers. Again, quite a bit of severe weather that we've had. Again, baseball-sized hailstones in the St. Louis area in advance of possible tornadic activity. We do have tornado warnings in the area, and typically that's what you begin to see now when you talk about a tornado forming. You get the dark gray green sky. You begin to see very large hailstones and even uh, perhaps starting to hear something that sounds like a freight train, of course, when there is a tornado developing. This is certainly turning out to be an incredibly vicious week as far as severe weather goes. The Storm Prediction Center says there were more than 900 preliminary severe weather reports yesterday. Of that number, 81 preliminary reports were of tornadoes, 444 were wind reports, and another 382 for hail. Our senior meteorologist Stu Ostro says that even though there are most likely duplicate reports, of the tornadoes and the other severe events, that number is still extremely high, even for preliminary numbers. I mean, 900 you know, reports. know, it's amazing. That is just really Sometimes you else. could see that over a week or a month, you know, and here we're talking about a day. Yeah. Yet another active weather day in what's been a string of them so far this spring. 20 tornadoes now reported across Oklahoma and Kansas, the largest tornado outbreak since the large and deadly outbreak in the southeast just three weeks ago. The tornadoes coming fast and furious, multiple tornadoes touching down across Oklahoma and Kansas. And once again, large metro areas were impacted, touching down around Topeka and Kansas City, in around St. Joseph as well, as tensions run very high here after what has happened so far this spring. One thing to keep in mind is the next several days bring just as much action, and today, potentially even larger metro areas could be impacted from Chicago all the way down to Oklahoma City. This week, severe weather swept from California to New York, destroying homes, property, and lives. Dr. Greg Forbes has an exclusive look. What a terrible week it has been once again for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes. Look at all the red tornado reports, even some out in California, and then huge numbers from the central plains eastward. Lots of damaging winds in blue, lots of severe hail in white. The numbers tell the tale and how far they are above average. Preliminary count, 273 tornadoes, over 1,700 severe hail reports, nearly 2,000 severe wind reports. Contrast to that average for a six-day period in May. 
58, 602, 392. You can see we're several times above average. And it hasn't just been the numbers, it's been the deaths. 150 fatalities this past week alone. That is more than 90% of the past years have had. On Saturday, we had a deadly tornado in Kansas. On Sunday, on the flanks of that first disturbance, a tornado, a deadly one in Joplin. The next cold air on Sunday comes across California. It begins its march eastward while the other one continues off toward the northeast. When the next one gets to that Gulf of Mexico moisture, it will trigger yet again on Tuesday. Deadly tornadoes in Oklahoma, and that will then continue on off to the east with more severe weather each day where that cold air comes over top of the warm, moist air and the winds turn with height. Here we go into Thursday, another huge day of severe thunderstorms. Friday, yet again, more severe thunderstorms are in the works. And in total, look at the tragedy that we've seen. Deadly tornado in Kansas on May 21st. Minneapolis on May 22nd. Joplin, Missouri, an EF5 tornado, 132 killed, confirmed thus far on the 22nd. Tornadoes in Indiana, Arkansas, Oklahoma, Kansas on the uh, 24th, killing 16. And the total is staggering. Joplin, Missouri, deadliest United States tornado since 1947. Deadliest tornado year to date with 513 fatalities. You have to go back to 1953 to have more than that. And that is in jeopardy. We could have the deadliest year since the 1930s. It's staggering. I never believed I would see such a thing like this again.